Uh, hi, my name is Chuck Howlett. Uh, I am a professor of education emeritus from Malloy University here on Long Island. And briefly, I'd like to tell you about a story that has appeared in the New York archives. It is a story about a merchant by the name of David Lowe Dodge, who is responsible for creating the first peace society in the United States and in the world. His New York Peace Society has been credited with helping to form the American Peace Society, a national organization that continues uh, to this day. Rather interestingly, Dodge came to uh, his revelation about peace with a near life and death experience. He nearly died from a, an illness, uh, recovered, and then when he was a merchant here in New York City, he was traveling around and at one of the hotels he um, pulled out a gun because he thought somebody was coming in to steal his goods and he nearly shot it but it was the innkeeper uh, and that led him to take another look at his religious underpinnings about the importance of peace and nonviolence. subsequently Dodge would then when he began to establish his peace society he would tuck peace tracks into the boxes of his goods that he sold to his prospective uh, buyers. Uh, later on, he helped form the American Peace Society in 1828, which then became uh, the most famous 19th century peace organization in the United States of America. It continues to exist and is now located in uh, Washington, D.C. Uh, my research uh, involved working through his, the New York Peace Society papers, which are now housed at the Swarthmore College Peace Collection. But equally important, his original writings are found in the New York Public Library, as well as the papers of his third son, a physician named David Stewart Dodge. All of his em emphasis on peace was based primarily on a religious belief, a Christian belief, uh, that war is unprofitable and it's contrary to the teachings of Jesus Christ. Uh, I've been very interested in contributing to the New York archives over the years. It's been my pleasure to work with such a great editorial staff, and I must admit what really blows me away is the illustrations that they're able to find to accompany the articles that I have submitted. Um, certainly it is important uh, that we continue to deep, dig deeply into uh, local history research and New York State history. Uh, I would like to just show you an image of a uh, photograph of a previous piece that I did about the first uh, football game between Notre Dame and Army. In the course of my research I was able to come across a photograph, an original photograph of the first Army Notre Dame game and, and of course uh, I was able to contact the athletic director at West Point and he subsequently found in the archives at West Point this original photograph. This is just one example of how the New York archives attempts to go out of its way to help promote and, and, and give people all right, uh, a great insight into the importance of New York State history. Needless to say, um, I think it's important that we, um, we give a, a lot of credit to the New York Archives for the way they promote New York State history, the way the editorial staff carefully illustrates and edits the pieces that are submitted to them, and the way they provide ample illustrations to highlight these articles which are very easy to read and enjoyable to follow. Uh, the audience certainly, uh, I'm, I'm sure, appreciates what the New York Archives has done. So needless to say, I'm very proud to have contributed uh, these articles to the New York Archives and the latest one on uh, David Lowe Dodge, uh, the uh, merchant peacemaker, the person who founded the first peace society in the history of the world. Thank you.